In this video, I'll be going over a couple examples of solving exponential equations. I apologize from beforehand for any additional background noise right now. It's raining and there's nothing much I can do about that. So anyway, if you watched my previous video or if you already have some experience in solving exponential equations, then you probably know that when solving them, one of the first steps that we want to do is you want to take LG on either side. So let's first move the 8 over. So we have 2 to the power of x plus 1 minus 2 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 8. But you may notice if we try to take LG of both sides, LG of both sides, then we can't really do much with this expression over here. And that's because of this minus sign. It doesn't allow us to apply any of our rules. Before we add our LG, we want to make this equation such that we are able to apply LG onto both sides. So the way that we do this is we find a common factor. So find a common factor. In this case that we can, and you basically just have to recognize what this factor is by looking at it. In this case, you can tell that over here you see 2 and an x. Over here you also see 2 and an x. So we can take our common factor as 2 to the power of x. And using our knowledge of indices from this, we can get that this is equal to 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2. And this is equal to minus, so 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of negative 1, which is also 1 over 2 and that is equal to 8. So from this we get 2 times 2 to the x minus minus 1 over 2 times 2 to the x times 2 to the x is equal to 8. And from this we get 2 is equal to 4 over 2. So this is 3 over 2 times 2 to the power of x is equal to 8. And we can move our move everything around now. So we get 8 times 2 over 3 is equal to 2 to the power of x. And this is equal to 16 over 3. So now we have our equation in a form where we can apply LG to either side and we'll be able to solve for X. So let's rewrite this. We have 2 to the power of X is equal to 16 over 3. You take LG of both sides, so LG of 2 to the power of X and LG of 16 over 3. And from this we get X times LG of 2 and this is equal to LG of 16 over 3. Now, once again, we need to solve for x, so we get x is equal to LG of 16 over 3 over LG of 2. We can plug this into our calculators, or into our calculator, which I need to pull up. So now let's just plug this in. We have 16 divided by 3, the logarithm of this, divided by the logarithm of 2. I'm sorry, this calculator is a bit weird, but it's all I have right now. So this is equal to, this is equal to 2.415. So 2.415. We round to two significant figures, so we get this is equal to 2.42. Let's look at another example. Let's say that 2 to the power of x plus 2 minus 2 to the power of x minus 3 is equal to 12. Once again, we want to express this in a form where we can take the LG of both sides and be able to then solve for x. And we know that we can't do it right away because of this minus sign, which doesn't allow us to apply any of our rules. So once again, we need to find the common factor, which in this question is also 
2 to the power of x. So we know, using our knowledge of the laws of indices, we get that this is equal to 2 to the power of x times 2 squared minus 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of negative 3 and this is equal to 12. From here we get, you can simplify this a bit, we get 4 times 2 to the x minus 1 over 8 minus 1 over 8 times 2 to the x is equal to 12 and 4 minus 1 over 8 this is 32 over 8 minus 1 over 8 which is 31 over 8 so we have 31 over 8 multiplied by 2 to the power of x is equal to 12 now let's get all of these factors together so we have 12 times 8 over 31 is equal to 2 to the power of x. We can take LG of both sides. Let's, let's plug this into the calculator really quick. So we get 12 times 8 is 96 divided by 31 is 3.096774 equals 3.096774 take LG of both sides, LG of 2 to the x, 2 to the x is equal to 3, or is equal to LG of, LG of 3.096774. Let's change the color of this x to green. So, so from this we get that x multiplied by LG of 2 is equal to LG of 3.0960967774 and I just took a, you don't always have to take a decimal this long but I just did. So we got X is equal to LG of 3.09 over LG of Two, and you can plug this into our calculator. LG of this number is equal to. I'm not sure if that works. So let's rewrite it. Three point zero nine six seven seven four divided by log of two is equal to one point six. Three, zero, seven, and we round to two decimal places once again, and we get x is equal to 1.63. So x is equal to 1.63.